Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to be just looking at some kale and just cooking some really simple, just a really kind of basic version of it. It is a great vegetable. People are getting a bit crazy the last few years about it. It seems to have gone from, you know, cow food to kind of like, you know, top restaurants. It's wonderful, of course. So, we've also got here, this is slightly different. This is a, called a black kale or cavallo nero. So, slightly different. There's a few different versions. This is the kind of more regular curly one that you'd get, the curly cow. But both, both really great. Really simple. We've chopped this up already. I mean, I like to keep leaving a little bit of that stalk in there. Tastes wonderful. Cooks really well. Give it a nice wash. Then we're simply going to saute this. It's done. Okay, so I've got a wok here with some oil in, which is really hot. Now, this is just one way you can make this. Obviously, you can just use this. It's a cabbage or a spinach, so you can just cook it any how you like. We're going to start off by dropping in some onions. It's going to be quite noisy, nice and hot in a wok. And I've got some celery. So we're just making a little bit of a stir fry of this now. Celery I just love. I mean, admit it if you want. You don't have to put it in. Now here I've got a piece of chilli. Fresh chilli, again, optional. I've got some garlic ginger, finely chopped there. Let that go for a few seconds. And then we go with our kale. Nicely washed as you can see. So simply let's just coat this around probably going to take about four or five minutes then I'll be back keep stirring it all the time as you can see our kale is wilting in there and cooking nicely got some lovely flavors happening there but I'm going to add here just a little bit of five spice you know it's like an Asian blend you can get it in most Asian we get it in all Asian stores get it in most supermarkets these days and if not check out the channel because there's a, cha uh, a video up there that tells you how to make it so like I said we're going in this kind of direction as you can see kind of more Asian vibe on this one what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of soy sauce now you may have noticed I've not added any salt that's because we're using soy I'm also not going to add any pepper because I've got that chili in there and the chili I used is a scotch bonnet which is absolutely fire I'm now just going to finish this off with, I've got here some uh, sesame seed oil nice and nutty just want to put that on at the end I didn't start with that because it burns off and then you lose the flavour now depending on how you want to cook this I mean I quite like mine with a bit of a crunch on it you can cook the life out of it if you want so this has now been going for about total five or six minutes let's take a little piece out yeah it's nice and crunchy I love that some incredible flavors there so so simple there you go that's how to cook or one way to cook kale lots of um, emails about that of late so so simple just treat it as a cabbage wash it well do what you like with it is it a wonder food? Not really. Lots of people are going crazy about it. Really. It cures cancer, apparently, and stuff like that. Of course it doesn't. What it is, is a green vegetable. Eat more green vegetables, people. It is good. It has got, you know, lots of vitamins and so and so but loads of kind of news began around in the last few years about it's a wonder veg. It's just a veg. We need to eat more veg. Lots of love to you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.